Introduction to Grammar Grade 2, Unit 1 Today, we are going to learn what is a sentence. What is a sentence? A group of words which make complete sense and expresses our thoughts is a sentence. When we speak to someone, we speak in complete sentences. While writing a sentence, we begin it with a capital letter and end with a full stop. For example, the peacock is a beautiful bird. Sanya is good at drawing. In the first sentence, it begins with the capital letter D and ends with a full stop. The second sentence begins with the capital letter S and ends with a full stop. Let's revise what we have learnt by solving an exercise. Here are a group of words. Let's tick the ones that are sentences and cross out those that are not. There are many books in the library. This sentence begins with a capital letter, ends with a full stop and makes complete sense. So, it is a sentence. Ben has a pet dog. These group of words make complete sense. It begins with a capital letter B and ends with a full stop. So, it is a sentence. And they. These two words seem incomplete. They do not begin with a capital letter nor do they end with a full stop. So, it is not a sentence. Jane is my best friend. This sentence makes complete sense. It begins with the capital letter and ends with a full stop. So, it is a sentence. Is sharp. This is an incomplete sentence. It doesn't begin with a capital letter nor does it end with a full stop. So, it is not a sentence. Playing children the are. These group of words begin with a capital letter, end with a full stop, but they do not make sense. So, it is not a sentence. The apples are sweet. This sentence makes complete sense. It begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. So, it is a sentence. Let's learn the types of sentences. Today, we are going to learn the two main types of sentences. They are statements and questions. What are statements? When a sentence tells us something, it is called a statement. A statement always ends with a full stop. For example, Tony goes to the beach every Sunday. The girl is reading a book. Both these sentences end with a full stop. Both of them are merely stating some fact. Therefore, these are statements. What are questions? When a sentence asks something, it is called a question. A question always ends with a question mark. For example, Which school do you go to? Are we going to the beach today? Both these sentences end with a question mark. Both of them ask a question. So, these are questions. 
Let's revise what we have learnt by solving an exercise. Let's punctuate the given sentences. If it's a statement, it ends with a full stop. And if it is a question, it ends with a question mark. The pizza is very tasty. This is a statement, so it ends with a full stop. Where is Sam going? This is a question, so it ends with a question mark. Is it raining outside? This is a question, so it ends with a question mark. The school bus has arrived. This is a statement, so it will end with a full stop. How much does this toy cost? This is a question, so it ends with a question mark. The teacher is in the classroom. This is a statement, so it will end with a full stop. Can I keep this book here? This is a question, so it will end with a question mark. Hey! This video was made just for you. If you've liked it, do give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer it. You can also leave a comment and question down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.